Hello, my name is Lindsay. And I'm Mike. We are the Cruising Cozy. We went on the Carnival Magic uh, December 11th or 17th of 2022. Uh, we went and used GoPort for the first time. Absolutely loved that. Thought it was extremely affordable and went flawlessly getting from the airport to the hotel, hotel to the cruise, and then the cruise back. So I would highly recommend that. Our hotel was the Marriott um, Lakes, uh, the Marriott Orlando Airport, um, and it was fabulous. It was kind of expensive, the drinks and food um, there, but the rooms were really nice and clean. The hotel was beautiful. The pool area was really nice as well. Today, we're gonna give you our pros and cons of the Carnival Magic ship itself. I agree with her. All right, so I'll start with the good. We had an aft view, we were on the ninth deck, and it was amazing. The view was just to die for. I mean, I would probably get an aft every time if it wasn't for the con of that room. What did you think? Yeah, I agree. The view was beautiful. We saw dolphins for the first time on the ship um, because we had an aft balcony, um, but there were more cons than pros to having an aft, in my opinion. And so for the extra cost, I would prefer to have a Lido deck balcony or a Coke balcony. I did not know it costed us more. All right, number two, you can go and go. I'll just do my top five. How about that? Uh, of course, the pizza's always good. You can't go wrong with carnival pizza, and I can pretty much eat anything except shepherd's pie without a lot of salt and pepper. Uh, the fun confetti cake. Where was that the first cruise when we fell in love with cruising? Thanks to Lovey, we tried it, and it was amazing. Only downfall, they give you like a little sliver. I mean, it's like a piece of beef jerky, so you have to ask for two, and then they roll their eyes at you. It's like, well, yeah, I want more. It's good. Of course I want more. Uh, the staff was amazing on the ship. I was hands down probably the friendliest staff on the, what are we, fourth cruise, fifth cruise we were on, and it was just amazing. They were all fr very, very friendly. Except the one guy that went and watched my slot machine when I had to go to the bathroom. And I think he was boss. Uh, number five, uh, front of the ship definitely get up to the 10th deck front and you can walk down to the ninth and get that view in while you're sailing not just at ports because it's just fun i mean you're seeing this the deep blue sea you're out there nothing in front of you maybe another ship or so you might see some birds or some fish or whatever uh but yeah definitely do that that was i thought it was pretty awesome what do you got yeah, just to uh, reiterate with Mike's comment on the 10th floor, uh, Deck 10 does have some secret doors. You go by all the cabins to the forward, so past the forward Deck 10 rooms, and then there'll be a door on both the left and right side of the ship, and it takes you out, and you are on this secret balcony that overlooks um, the front. And then you can walk down a set of stairs and see the ninth floor. So I think Mike had a YouTube video on that that he's already put out, but it was really cool. Um, I thought the food was really good. Um, we uh, didn't do any specialty dining, but I thought the buffet options, the MDR each night, um, we did guys, pizza, and the blue iguana. Everything um, was very good. Uh, temperature was good, selection was good. Have no complaints on that. Um, I really thought it was cool that there were hot tubs on deck five um, on both sides. There were two hot tubs on each side, so you didn't only have uh, hot tub options on the Lido deck, and I thought that was neat. Um, I enjoyed the casino. I thought that for Mike and I, we both like to play at the casino in the evenings. There was always a machine to be found. Um, we only did slots um, during this cruise, but it was nice because each time we went in, we had somewhere to sit and we've had instances before where it was more packed than it was this cruise. Um, it was easy to get into the shows we wanted to see. Um, I won't lie, I took my mom and her husband, or they came with us, we didn't take them on this cruise. Um, and we waited an hour and a half before the love and marriage show after deal or no deal, just because I thought for sure that we wouldn't find a seat if we left. And there were plenty of seats when this show started. <laughs> they were great shows, but you don't need to go too early um, for those. And we're in fourth place for the love and marriage show. <laughs> that is true, we tried. We tried out with our Tarzan and Jane and we did pretty good. Um, and I also thought there were lots of bathrooms in the ship, and I thought that was cool. So regardless of where you were, you didn't have to go back to your stateroom. I thought there were a lot of bathroom options outside of the restaurants and outside of the venues. And I also liked the fact that everything was on two different decks. So either deck five is the place to be or deck 10 is the place to be. The rest of it were crew areas and staterooms. So if you wanted to go do something outside of your cabin, those were the two decks you went to. And I thought that was convenient. I agree.
Um, and then the last thing I had was that this was our first cruise with the Red Frog Pub indoors. And I thought that was a really neat venue and I was glad to see one and hang out in one. Was that your five or 10? Um, I don't know. I just did um, all of them. I guess I have one more thing. Sorry. I thought it was cool how it was decorated for Christmas. We'd never been on a cruise in December. <coughs> and I love the atrium. Very cool colors. I love the glass elevators. I thought it was super neat. Um, and um, yeah, with the glass elevators. I don't know. We didn't have an atrium on the Mardi Gras because that has been taken off of the newer ship. So it was neat to be back in one. Sorry. I'm afraid of heights, so I don't care for glass <laughs> elevators. I did look over the edge. My body would not let me get close enough. I don't know if the brain won't let me get to there and look, but I did try. I did look down, but. He did find some ducks in the garland yeah. up yeah. there. I am a duck the hunter. Yeah. Thank you to all you guys that uh, hide those, because I do not rehide them. I keep them all as souvenirs, because I do. Uh, all right, so embarkation. I thought it was pretty simple. Pretty, We got on pretty fast. Uh, I don't think we really had a problem on the few cruises we have taken besides Mardi Gras was a joke. I mean, I think we were almost two hours waiting in line and it was the only time we took 12 packs of pops for the kids. And it was just like, this is dumb. It's not worth carrying 12 box packs of pop. Just give them the $50 for the week and they can have their own pop whenever they want. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty simple. We got right on, uh, it was like 10 minutes. Uh, layout of the ship was pretty easy getting around like she explained everywhere you had to go wanted to go it was you can get right to it um, we did not go to like the fun shops or do any shopping so i did look through the glass it looked like they had some pretty good stuff there um, the bar choice you can get a drink anywhere uh, plenty of bars plenty of restaurants so you really if you can say uh, besides going down to get a coffee at the one place you can go anywhere and get a drink uh, well, that's about what I got. That's my 10. I'm sure I can go on and on and on. Uh, and at the coffee place, it. you can get a spiked drink. We never did that, but I guess you can do Bailey's or Kahlua in your coffee and have that be one of your alcoholic beverages if you have the drink package. I'm an ultra person. Yeah, same. I'll just drink we like our beer. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, I do, do my first drink is Miami Vice every time I get on the ship. And mine's a Mick Ultra. Mm, mine <laughs> My Miami Vice was my third drink this trip because we're just so excited. Uh, all right, for the bad, I'll let you go first. Okay, so they're not in any particular order, um, but we had lunch during um, or during one of the sea days at Cucina. It is a free option that's normally a specialty and costs more at night. Um, the food was really good. It was a really neat experience. We hadn't done it before, but unfortunately on the Magic, the basketball court is right above the restaurant and they don't close it down. Uh, my daughter does did say they close it down for dinner, so that's good because if I paid extra, that would be very hard to hear. Um, and it was just boom, 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 boom. It was so deafening, deafening, deafeningly loud, excuse me. Um, I just thought maybe they should close that for the hour or two that they're open. Um, and then the aft balcony, as we said, was really nice. However, we were on the ninth deck um, and right above us was the Lido deck. And very early in the morning, they would scrape all the chairs or they would scrape across the, um, the like our ceiling. Drag them into drag place. Drag them, yeah, so that they could uh, spray down the pool deck and make it look nice for the morning. And we, you know, older have our lighter sleepers so we were always woken up by that and then the gears and I don't really know how I would have word it but if it was turning at all or backing in anywhere it was super super loud uh, motor noise in our room and of course all of this is when you're asleep otherwise we are really laid back we wouldn't have probably cared and my other issue with our room is I got the Wi-Fi because our son and our pets were here just so I could check in and the Wi-Fi didn't work at all in our room in the act and neither did the hub chat that we each paid five dollars for to communicate. It worked really well throughout the rest of the ship but it did not work in our room at all. Um, the other issue I had and it was a big issue with our group is we had early dining um, and the way the ship is set up we went to the third floor there's four elevators then the dining room and then you have to go up or down a staircase there's no hallways or anything right at that area and so they would not open the doors until right at six o'clock and it was like cattle herding it was so uncomfortable because like i said you have the four elevators and then you have steps up and down so people were on all the steps going up and all the steps going down because on the mardi gras at the dining room there was the hallway that led out to like um the um 
Oh gosh, it was like the gypsy bar. I know, sorry. Anyway, there was a hallway. So you could actually form a line in a hallway. This was not the case where we were. And the service, he tried so hard and they were really kind, but it was just always, he was always flustered. Our server, um, I know they were short staff, so I'm not complaining about that, but it was the first time we had experienced that in the MDR where it took a really long time for a drink or a water refill or bread. Um, but the food, like I said, was great. And we definitely tipped him extra at the end um, because he did try really hard. Um, and the, I didn't like how the drink package didn't work on the private islands, but we can talk about that in our next um, video. Um, and I don't like how they print receipts for each drink. We have done one Royal Cruise and they don't do that. So if you have cash and you want to tip them extra, you can, but they just swipe your card. And I like that because it takes so much time at the bars to even get a drink on the magic there was 10 or 15 people deep at each bar no matter if it was the right when you wake up or right when you go to bed the bars were crazy there was always a line and it's just really hard because they don't um they take so much time to print those things off put it in the book put the pen in the book and people just sign or don't even do anything with it half the time anyway um and so that they could really just eliminate that step in my opinion and we've talked about it before we drink a lot of beer and so they need like a beer cart or a beer station or a beer bar because we would stand in line forever to get a beer and people in front of us who were before us so we understand but they would get like four mixed drinks or four frozen drinks so it just takes a really long time so if there was a place for beer or pop soda uh, i think that that would be really smart on the cruise lines part and if you um, are those guys leave a tip a little yes. extra tip because yes. they're making a lot of drinks for you and you're I've seen receipts and there's no tip on Yes. We're just leaving a tip for a can of beer where they're just sliding it to us. Yeah, we usually add it all. Don't care what you do with your money, it's your money, but they work hard, extra hard for all those mixed drinks all day long. Yes. And then my last con um, was just the low energy pool deck. We are used to, um, I mean, they had the sail away party, it was fine. Um, they had their 80s or 90s deck party, that was fine, but nothing super fun like we've experienced before. And on ships we've been on before, on port days, when they are leaving port, there's always some type of party here. They just had those steel drums. Yes, that's fun, but I mean, they need some fun music. I don't think we had really any fun on the pool deck except the last sea day when Mike did the trivia and they had some fun music blaring and contests, but that was the only time they had that. And I'm, I like being out in the sun. And so I just thought that they could really just pick up the energy with that. So I know I that took win. forever, but your turn. I did not win. Hopefully this is loud <laughs> enough because we're not redoing it and our daughter better not be lying to us and it better be recording. All right, <laughs> so recording. I have 10, 12, 15, but it's, we're not gonna nitpick. She named most of them. The app noise was ridiculous, the chairs. It's the side thrusters when the ship's going sideways. I recorded it, there's like a 15 second video and you just like, almost sounds like a helicopter is just sideways, but it was like that every time we were going to dock or yeah, to uh, hit any dock. I mean, there's nothing you can do, but it's just very noisy. We never heard it that before, heard it at all, but it was very bad. And that video shows you, and that was when we were going back to port, uh, to Miami or uh, Port Canaveral. Uh, and then the balconies, they could have did, when they paint, I know they gotta keep painting and painting and painting and painting because rust, but at least cover the chairs, you know, throw something down. I mean, it looked pretty, it looked like I did in a hurry uh the food i did not care for the, the uh, like i said i could eat anything but I, come on for real and just like everybody said guys picking anchors i mean it's food you can live off it it ain't worth going and waiting in line for sure uh i did do a little video on that just like everybody else does uh the creme brulee where i fell in love creme brulee was on the horizon i mean i could eat that every day i mean we just go to a bar or slash restaurant here in town just to get our desserts there after we eat, uh, like McDonald's, because we can't afford that fancy meal. But on the ship, it, by the time we got, it got to us, it was like soup, it was gross. It's like cottage cheese, you'll see, you can see it on the vlog. Uh, one of the, I don't know if I got it on a picture or what, but it's there, it looked like cottage cheese, it was nasty. I still ate it, most of it. <laughs> uh, like I said, the beer yeah. was ridiculous for a uh, weight line for the beer, but you know, they can only go so fast when they're short staffed and everybody's making, having mixed drinks but it was probably the worst weight of all. Uh, let's see, oh, my handwriting's pretty bad here. Yeah, the dining was ridiculous. You walk out of the elevator and you're walking into, I mean, we were part of the problem because there was four or five of us at a time there and you get off the elevators, you can't move because there's nowhere to go because everybody's just piled up into that little area, but it is what it is. We, it was fine. We, just we started going like five, 10 minutes after six yeah. and it yeah, was Thursday. easier. We went right in, sat down, and then the server came over. 
Yeah, it was the fourth day though, so it was like yeah. after we. But that would be our advice from the beginning. Yeah, don't go at six. Yeah. At ten to six is just you're still gonna get the food. You're still gonna have to wait. It's still gonna be the same amount of time, and then you don't have to wait in line. You can spend more time at the casino or whatever. Uh, the wait for Half Moon K was ridiculous. We had to go down to the theater. What did we wait over an hour? And we had the cabano, so we thought we were gonna get. We didn't even have to go. We could have just went on a shuttle and go. I guess I don't know. I didn't think it was. I thought it was ridiculous because we sat there and sat there and sat there. Yeah. And then they said they needed to, uh, kids needed ID, so they went back to mind you. We were in the front of the ship. We had to go deck nine aft for our daughter's. I think it was the ID, wasn't it? And then they said, no, we don't need it. You just need your ship card. It's like a private island. Where are we gonna go? We can't stay here. But anyway, that was kind of. They did clarify that we didn't need it, so she didn't have to make it all the way back. They went to the coffee shop anyway, so it was a good thing. Uh, yeah, to clarify on that, if you have any type of thing booked at Half Moon K, as a cabana, down to a clamshell, any type of excursion, you get the first tender off. So they had us meet at like 7.45 and we didn't even get on the tender until after nine. So we're just not sure why we had to Yeah, because they had every there excursion there, there as well. Because they had yeah. the kayaks, the whatever you yeah, ran in. Paddle boards. So. Swimming with the pigs. Or and it was our first experience going to their private island, so. And it was crazy. There, the waves on that island were going all the way up to the cabana. Uh, well, I don't know if we got it on any film, but that would have been cool. Because they literally yeah. came up to the steps and everybody in their chairs were getting soaked because yes. the waves were so high. Uh, but yeah, everything, like she already covered it, the other stuff, if I didn't cover it twice. Uh, the worst was we had to get off the ship super early. We were going to hang out because we didn't have a, a late, our flight was at 5 or whatever, 4 o'clock, so we are going to stay late, and they're like, get out of here, Jack. Uh, we don't know if it was because of the dead body <laughs> from the hot tub or what was going on. Uh, but yeah, that's what I got. Uh, this is our first review. Yeah. First so time we got, you know, we've sailed on what, Horizon, Fascination, Mardi Gras, Symphony of the Seas, and now the Magic. So bear with us. I know all our videos are short. I know we're not making this, we're not creating, and got stars coming from behind us and all this stuff. I was gonna take a piece of cardboard and string and drop it down and say subscribe, because we on a budget check. And also, like and subscribe. Like right now, I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to Stare at that, 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 <laughs> that, that. We need somebody back there and just say perfect, but our camera person isn't being very helpful. Uh, Alicia did say it was recording. If it is the recording. itinerary was amazing. The ship was not bad, but based on other ships we've been on, we collectively decided as a family that we most likely will not sail on the Magic again. Yeah, everybody loved it. Everybody says their favorite ship. I, I guess we started out with Horizon, so it's kind of hard and. I love the fascination because it was small and just the artwork, just the decor of it was really cool. Um, I don't know, I didn't care for the magic. I guess we'll have to sail on it again and just not in the app <laughs> and not bring any kids or anybody else that's... What? They always want to we'll go. We'll bring a different view to it. So we'll, we will sail on it again, but there's so many ships out there, it's so hard you know, to stay on the same one. It's hard enough just going back with Carnival, but budget-wise you can't really beat it. Coming from Nebraska, it costs more to fly down there than it does to sail on a ship, especially if you get an interior and then you can throw on casino offers or whether Royal was giving us free rooms, even on Symphony of the Seas, we could have had a free Royal cruise up until I think February. We already had everything else booked and it is what it is. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe, share with your friends. Our goal was 40, then we realized, or I did, you gotta have 50 subs before you can go live. Uh, so yeah, do what you gotta do to get it out there. I mean, I can't say please more, but I guess I can. Bye. She's not very helpful either. <laughs> Bye now. Do I lock it? Is it open? Cut. You better. It's better been recorded. It's not recorded. Oh my god. Or it's still recording. It's gonna shut off. That's 19 minutes. Oh god. <gasps>